Hey guys, and welcome back to Thrift Shop Finds, where we go out to the thrift shops and see what we can find. I was looking to see what this was. It was my sleeve. So, um, today we went to the Allentown Ag Hall Super Gig Gigantic Yard Sale, and I ran into the person I bought from the year before, which is awesome. Um, and bought a whole bunch of stuff from them. And then, um, we also went to the, uh, hockey game and got some free stuff there. And then this area here, which you can't see, um, is from the Harrisburg Craft Show. It's the Christmas and Craft Show. Uh, and I got the stuff that I always look for there. And it looks like we have yet another of the, uh, Fisher Price Imagine X uh, pirate ships with the serpent head. So, this one's the red one, and we'll show you that. Um, so, we are going to play uh, Where's Forky? So, little Forky's hidden somewhere on our set. It's your job to find him. And uh, let's show you what we got. I'll just disclaimer I don't know the names of a lot of these characters, so we'll have to figure them out. So. Okay, so from the Super Gigantic Yard Sale, we have uh, the Mighty Ducks action figures. This is Disney. I don't know if it has a year. A lot of times Disney does not put a year on their stuff. But here is all the accessories for this duck. Um, and I'll get, I believe it's a her. I'll get her name. So we're just trying to keep it together. There's, uh, it's sealed. there's this duck. These three are the from the Mighty Ducks. They were a hockey team, but then they were also, this is the animated show, of course. They were also, um, they did other stuff too. So that guy and all of his accessories. I don't normally keep accessories, but I'll try to keep everything together. And then lastly, there's this, uh, as you know, I, I love, well, I like all the toys, but I love the big bruiser guys. Uh, again, I don't know his name, but we'll figure it out. And uh, just mark Disney China on these guys. So we'll get to the names, a little history of the show. Mighty Ducks animated cartoon. Okay. There's a 12 inch figure. This is Marvel 1995 Toy Biz. Um, again, these were the 12 inch figures that came out. Um, they might even be 10 inch. Do I have a 12 inch figure handy? I don't know. Yeah. Thanos. <laughs> So these are like uh, 11 and a half, maybe. So we'll put Thanos back after the show. Um, so these are like 11 and a half, but these came out in 95 um, prior, way prior to, you know, the 12 inch figures they have now, which he was from. 2018 so I think they've been making them since like 2012 the the 12 inch the big ones that don't move um, these have movement at the knees and the elbows um, and a lot more articulation some of the DC ones they move side to side I'm not sure why you would want that but um, yeah these these were from Marvel and like I said it was 19. 95. Do I know his name? Absolutely not. <laughs> so, um, one of the things I talked about in a previous episode was that I was able to find the red Cobot, Gobots cap gun. Um, and this is the version that I had as a kid. And I also have recently bought the blue one, but I bought this one before this one. So, 
Um, now I have both versions and this one actually says GoBots on it, but this one does not. So hopefully it's the same thing. It really doesn't matter to me. Um, and again, if you remember the, the transforms, it transforms into, you gotta rotate this hips down. It transforms into a cap gun like that. And it looks like it still works. Here's the latch. You can see the cap gun. I think that is what is missing off of him. So this one's a really good sample and is very happy to get all that. So. So you have blue and red. Pretty cool. Okay, big bag of figures that I don't know their names probably. I can guess. That's about all I got. Um, the girl, lady who was selling these has a ton of figures. Um, and I bought all the ones that I thought looked pretty cool. And she gave me a really good deal. So hopefully um, there's another show in March. Hopefully we'll go back and see what she's got left. So again, like I said, I, I don't know their names. 1995 Marvel. Toy Biz. Nineteen ninety five Marvel Toy Biz. Nineteen ninety four Marvel. Nineteen ninety six Marvel Toy Biz. That could be Gene Gray, but I'm not sure. Uh, I've seen him. I think I have another figure of him. 1995 Marvel Toy Biz. It's this guy, he's got a mohawk. Um, 1995 Marvel. It's this big demon looking guy, dragon looking guy. Nineteen ninety four Marvel Toy Biz. He's got like a big thing on his head. Some cool stuff on his legs. Like I said, I, I don't recognize any of these guys. Nineteen ninety four Marvel Toy Biz. Maybe when we get the names, we'll we'll, uh, we'll recognize the names. But right now, I don't. Nineteen ninety three Marvel Toy Biz. Nineteen ninety five Marvel Toy Biz. Like I said, these guys are awesome. Hasbro, Made in China, Marvel 2015. So we jumped there a little bit on this guy. 1995 Marvel Toy Biz. I'm not sure who this monster guy is, but he's cool looking. 1995 Marvel 
toy biz. Turn on the horns. Nineteen ninety three Marvel Toy Biz. This guy's got like fan blades or something. Nineteen ninety five Marvel Toy Biz. And I have a bigger version of him. I still don't know his name. 1993 Marvel Toy Biz. So pretty cool. Um, let's see. We got um, pucks. We got three pucks from the uh, hockey game, Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And they are 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Um, they had them on a table, and I can't help myself, so I took three. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's do this one quick. This is the Imaginext Serpent. Um, ship. And it has all the things where it opens up the side. And the sails and everything. I'm not sure what that does. I think that fires the thing. Pretty cool. It is marked 2010 Mattel. Okay, so from the Harrisburg Craft Show, we stopped at Bricks and Broomsticks. Uh, we buy and sell new and used Legos. Um, and they also sell the Legos that are off brand. These are definitely not Lego brand. Um, and this is, uh, uh, I believe it's Anti Venom, but this size of the Lego figure, I have a bunch of them upstairs. So that's pretty cool. And then Carnage. Um, I did have most of the Hulks that they had out, so I didn't buy um, all, any more Hulks, just this guy with the graying hair on both sides which is um like the smart hulk he's also wearing black pants so i like that one they had a really cool kingpin figure uh, i've never seen that one before and then from a different stand i don't want to um cause an issue different stand at the craft show they had a killer croc um, with the chains and everything, and this will go good in my Killer Croc collection, so very cool about that. Very happy about that. And then, lastly, they had a Galaxy Con bag, which I thought was kind of cool, um, and it had all of the Galaxy Con dates on it, uh, including 2023. Um, they're going to be in Richmond, Raleigh, Austin, and Columbus in 2023 so pretty cool okay so difficult job here um what is my favorite find uh and that it's not easy with all, all these cool guys um but going back to my childhood i'm gonna go with the gobot um cap gun uh, his name is rogun that was his official name, R-O-G-U-N. And uh, I'm also going to have to go with um, the Killer Croc uh, Lego guy. Uh, like I said, these are the off brands. These aren't Lego brands, but they sell them, and they're awesome, and I look for them every year. So, Cool. Um, if you like what you see, hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, little Forkies right up here on the... Um, Hard Rock Cafe Pinboard, which is our background. Um, we'll keep making videos and having fun. Um, I believe the next episode is going to be uh, uh, my haul from Ollie's. 
Ollie's had a toy sale and um, I found some really cool stuff there. So I went in looking for Ghostbusters and I did find one item and I'll show it to you next time. So have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.